FishTankTV.com, YouTube, what's going on? Perfect example right there. That's the nitrogen getting breaking down in your dirt. Alright, that's just gas getting released. It won't harm your fish. Don't worry about it. What's up, guys? It's the Christmas edition. Happy Christmas. Uh, I mean, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And I want to talk about a couple things in the 125. And the main thing I want to talk about is water parameters in the 125. What's my nitrate? What's my ammonia? What's my nitrite in my 125 planet tank when I've got no filter on it? And a lot of people say, well, Wayne, your water's probably bad. Let me talk about this for a second, all right? I do water changes on this tank every three weeks, every month, and it's not big water changes at all. It's very little water changes. Now, you can see this is a highly dense plant tank, and it's not done yet. Um, it is Christmas. So I got an eBay gift card, which I was hoping for. I just ordered another 36-inch T5 light. So, after that light comes in, this side of the tank will be done. This side will only need to be worked on after that. So I'm pumped about that. Um, and I'll be setting my filtration up soon after that. Once that's done, um, we can work on the 55-gallon reef. And before I get into the 125, I want to talk about the 55-gallon reef. Last Friday, me and my girl and her family, we went to Maryland. That's the closest pet code nearby. I got a Hinoki's black and white butterfly fish. Now, a lot of people are probably saying, Maryland, well, that's why your fish got stressed out during shipment. No. Think about this. Every fish that comes to your local fish store has to go through overnight shipping. They'll be all right for a couple hours in a bag. Overnight shipping is a lot longer than what that Hinoki's black and white was in. So, um, <clears throat> Hinoki's black and white. I got a Hinoki's black and white butterfly fish. And if you guys don't know what that is, look it up on Live Aquaria. Google search it. It kind of looks like a Moorish Idol. Um... I said in the tank, it was doing good, acclimated, it did fine. Turn the lights, well the lights went out from the timer, and I, the next morning came, and I was like, where is it at? I'm like, okay, the lights just came on, it's kind of scared, it's hiding. So I'm like, alright, a couple hours went by, I said, something's not right. Started tearing live rock apart, and I saw it under a piece of live rock, dead. Dead, that sucks. So um, I'm never going to that Petco again to get a fish. If I go there, it would never be a fish again. Um, so... That sucks. So I called my local fish store around, I don't know, 1 o'clock or something like that. And I told them about the Hinokius and I got them to order me one. So I am getting another Hinokius black and white butterfly. It will be here by around next Thursday, this Thursday coming. So look out forward to that. And uh, I guess we'll dive, dive into the 125 and start talking about it. All right, water parameters. Everybody knows that Wayne has an insane dirt recipe. And all that dirt is releasing nitrates and phosphate to feed plants. And that's going into the water system. And everybody knows that, well, a lot of people don't know it, but I don't do water changes on this tank very often. It gets a water change every, I don't know, every three weeks to a month. It's not much at all. So it's not getting much at all, guys. And uh, filtration, it's got no mechanical filtration. All it's got is the air stone running and plants. And I'm going to show you the benefits of plants. Think about this, guys. I've got a lot of fish in here. I've got in the same dirt recipe that's just pumping out nutrients and nitrates and phosphates. Um, and you can see it just releasing bubbles right there. And it's, it's quite a bit of fish here. Not many for a 125, but it's a bit. And let's talk about this. Um, the nitrate test kit, isn't, it hasn't been five minutes yet. we got almost two minutes still. And we still got, let's see here what we got. we got a little over, it might be zero, it might be over. i got to look at it. It's not final yet. But you can see it's still pretty yellow. What that's telling me, guys, is... This tank is absorbing all the nitrates in this tank before it can harm the fish. And that's what the plants are doing. The plants are doing it by itself. You can see the gunk on top of the tank. You can see it on top of the gravel. And it looks bad. But guess what? The, the nitrogen cycle is taking place. It's, act, it's working. It's turning that ammonia into nitrite. nitrate. Nitrite, my bad, with an I, nitrite. And it's turning that into nitrate, and that's what the plants are taking care of. The plants are absorbing phosphates. Um, I would test phosphate, but I, I broke that little uh, uh, little beaker, so that sucks. So um, I'm going to have to get another one for that. But I'm not really worried about it because my nitrates are low, my phosphates should be low because plants are going to absorb that phosphate. That's what they eat. So my plants are kind of looking... Mm, they're doing good, but they're kind of slowing down, and some are kind of starting to look weird. So what's telling me is, Dustin always preaches this, and you got to find a balance. This is telling me I have to add more fish before I add more plants. Now, you're probably saying, you ain't got no mechanical filtration. Well, that test kit, well, that test water is going to say everything I need to say. Think about it. If I add more plants, the nitrates are going to go down even more. 
because the plants are absorbing the nitrate and the phosphate and ammonia, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. So what are the fish going to eat when there's no nitrates? Yes, there's going to be iron and potassium and magnesium, iron, zinc, other nutrients and trace elements that plants need, but where, where's the nitrate coming from? If the fish can't pump it out in time, where's the nitrate coming from? I need to add more fish. I need to have a heavier bio load. So I'm thinking about getting discus in here. The only thing I don't want to, there's two reasons I don't want to get discus. Power outage in the wintertime would kill them and the angels might bully them. So we'll see about that. We might get more angels. I don't want to put any more than six in here. Uh, you can overstock them like if you have a whole bunch of angels in here. But I want to make sure my angels have territory. Hmm. Um, I might add some more rams soon, but we're definitely going to have to add more fish. And that is awesome. It's just like New York Steel. I was talking to him about this the other day. And uh, that's why he could have so many fish in his system because it was, the system was taking care of itself. The nitrates were just depleting as fast as the fish were putting them out. Um, it has been six minutes and five seconds. So let's look at this. The test kit right here. Nitrates are at... Damn. That's even lower than the other day. They're at zero. You can see that right there for yourself. This is a fresh water test kit. And I have the salt water one over there. But uh, you can see that. Not even picking up on the scale. So that's proof to all you beginners out there. You don't need a filter on your tank. It's going to work for you. It's going to make sure this gunk is, is, is not showing in your tank. But I've got no nitrates. And I've noticed the plants are slowing down. I need more fish in this system. And if somebody's saying your tank's overstocked, you're going to overstock it. Well, think about it, guys. If that nitrate is low, the plants are going to suffer from it. So I need to get some nitrate in this tank. Um, I could... Yeah, you know, I could take some shrimp and just dump it in here, overfeed it to catch it up, and I might have to do that before I get some more fishing here. But as of right now, the plants are going to suffer if this nitrate remains at zero. Shane had nitrates of zero in his uh, 55 plant tank. Now Shane did huge water changes on his tank, and he has city water that was uh, already treated, and it had low nit nitrates itself. And then he added prime, which reduced nitrates. So you got to think, like, I've got, my tap water has high nitrates. I think it's nitrates around 30 or something like that. I don't do water changes rarely. I rarely do a water change on this tank. And this tank still has un, untraceable amounts of nitrates. So, I need to add more fish. This is perfect proof. You do not need a filter. You do not need to go all out in your filtration system to have a clean tank. What the answer is, Dustin would agree with me. Plants are the answer. Plants are the answer. And look at my pair right there. Beautiful. I'm going to end on that. Comment, rate, subscribe if you have any questions on how to get zero nitrates in your plant aquarium. Let me know.